purpose of this video is to apply Coulomb's law to the lattice energy of an ionic solid. And um, well, first of all, what is Coulomb's law? All right, so this is between positive and negative forces. What do these forces depend upon? Well, two things. One being how much charge you've got and the other being how far apart they are. All right. Now, what's the relationship, what's the relationship for amount of charge? Well, I've got an electron and I've got a proton. They're going to have an attractive force between them, all right? Draw the arrows in. It's important that the arrows are pointed to each other, showing that it's pulling them in, all right, towards each other, almost like gravity. Now, as you can see, based upon the size of this positive, this one has a greater charge on the, on the left. They need to be equal distance from um, each other. Therefore, the one on the left is going to experience a greater attraction. This makes the amount of charge and this force have that kind of relationship. Now, what's the relationship with distance? As you can see, once again, there's going to be attractive force. Well, what if I bring it closer? then that attractive force is going to increase, all right? So this is going to be inversely. The, the distance is going uh, down and the electric force is going up, all right? So that's like an opposite trend. Here's a, a table showing you all the things. Now, this in an equation, this force of attraction or of repulsion is proportional to two things is proportional directly proportional to charge therefore charge is going to be in the denominator the numerator sorry in the numerator and it's inversely proportional to the distance therefore the distance is in the denominator and the distance is squared in this scenario the Q1 and Q2 are the two different charges. Now, I meant to, I should have added some, uh, shouldn't have had this here anyways. Uh, for Coulomb's force, when you calculate it, a negative in this case would mean attraction and positive would mean repulsive. Now, let's apply this to some crystals. Two crystals being sodium, and lithium. Now you can see there's no difference in the charges of the respective ions, the, the cation and the anion, that both scenarios plus one and negative one. However, lithium's ions are significantly smaller than mm -hmm. sodium's, and you can see that that makes the distance go down. Therefore, the electrostatic force would increase. Now, how does this apply to their lattice energies? That means it's probably going to make lithium chloride's crystal lattice stronger. Here's sodium, how many sodium chloride's list, uh, lattice energy. And there you can see this is uh, lithium chloride's lattice. It's, it's, it's six, about 60 joules per, kilojoules per mole higher. And here's another way of writing it. You're going to delta H lattice, a change in enthalpy. All right, it's the same thing. So the smaller the ion, the smaller the distance, the stronger. All right. Now, let's look at a different crystal. This time we're comparing sodium to magnesium, and they're like next door to each other. Magnesium is 12, sodium is 11 on the periodic table. Now here, sodium is a bit bigger than, than magnesium, about, I think it's like 20 picometers bigger, but it's, 
but it's got a magnesium's got a significantly larger charge, double the charge. Therefore, you'd expect the lattice energy to be a lot greater over here than over there, because the, the bigger the charge, the more the the attraction. Let's see if it pan, if it plays out. As you can see, magnesium's is much much higher. All right, it's almost triple the lattice energy. Here's the logic. And one thing it says, stronger electrostatic forces. This is implying that they're gonna be opposite and this electrostatic force is gonna be uh, attractive. And the general trend here is as ionic charge goes up, lattice energy goes up. As radius goes down, lattice energy goes up. All right, I hope that's been helpful. All right, have a good day and I'll let me know if I can help you out.